I'm meteorologist Dave Anderson with CBS3 with another storm update and things are changing. Severe thunderstorm warning happening right now in southern parts of Itasca County, northern parts of uh, Aiken County here until 8 o'clock. The big threat tonight seems to be big hail. We've had reports of tennis ball size tail over towards Bemidji and only getting a little bit smaller as it heads towards our region. And speaking of other things heading towards our region, now the Twin Ports facing a severe thunderstorm warning until 8.30 p.m. It's just up to the north of places like Saginaw and Hermantown and coming towards the tip of Lake Superior. So folks in the Twin Ports, be ready for high winds, thunder, lightning, and hail now that's been reported to the size of about a silver dollar the old-fashioned silver dollars, like the Eisenhowers, if you remember those. Now, these storm warnings are embedded in a general severe thunderstorm watch in effect till midnight, which now does encompass northern Wisconsin. And there's still a threat it could include the UP as time goes on. Let's get a look at the radar and the latest round of showers and storms exiting the Mesabi Range and now focusing their attention on heading towards the Twin Ports. Looks like three different clusters doing so. The one closer to Two Harbors seems to be losing a little bit of steam as it gets towards Lake Superior, which is so often the case. But this middle one here coming towards the Twin Ports could indeed just wrap around and follow the warm land and not be hindered too much by the cooler water, which is on the warmer side right now anyway. But still, the discrepancy there would force it to work around into northern Douglas County and then through Wisconsin. So keep in mind, no matter where you live in our region here tonight, if you haven't seen showers and storms yet, they could be coming your way. The chance is 70% then for the head of the lakes, northern Wisconsin and the upper peninsula. Low temps will be around 60. For Tuesday, we get a day's worth of break in the action as a little wedge of higher pressure gets in between two lows. Tuesday should be mostly sunny with a high of 80. But into Wednesday, there's a second low that's now more over towards Montana that could be our way. And that'll bring another round of showers and storms for midweek. But then that could be the last gasp for rain chances for a while as another extended dry period comes aboard. So to take a look at this board, the seven-day forecast, please take a look at CBS 3 TV at 10 p.m. We'll keep you updated on these storms, keep tracking them as they come by, and then give you a feel for what's coming up for the week ahead.